Hi, this is Abhimanyu from BIMSERV. In this tutorial, we learn about exporting DWF. AutoCAD and Revit can export in DWF. DWF stands for Drawing Web Format. As the name suggests, a DWF file can be viewed in a web browser as well as in Autodesk Design Review. DWF can be a compressed file format. This means that the file size is much smaller as compared to the source file from which it is created. The smaller file size makes it suitable for exchange through email or any cloud-based file sharing service. Let's start with AutoCAD first. Click on this big A. From the application menu, select Export. In this list, as you can see, we have three options DWF, DWFX and 3D DWF. DWF and DWFX are used when exporting from 2D drawings. 3D DWF is used when exporting from a 3D drawing. Since my drawing is a 2D floor plan, I can either use DWF or DWFX. Since DWFX is a newer format, I'll use this to export my drawing. Here in the Save as DWFX dialog box, on the right hand side, we see different settings and controls that determine the file. It shows us basic settings implemented on the file. The type selected is multi-sheet file, the layer information is included, and the password protection is disabled for the time being. Now, let's explore more options available. As you can see, it is mainly divided into two parts. The first part gives us the general DWF options such as location, type, name, layer control. Whereas the second one has options like password protection and block information. I'm not going to change any of these default options for this time. I will save it for now. After this you can see a dialog box appear at the right hand bottom corner which tells us that the file has been exported. Now let's move on to Revit. Click on the big R. Now in the application menu select export. Unlike AutoCAD we've just one option for DWF. Let's click this option. Here in the DWF export settings, we have three tabs, views or sheets, DWF properties and project information. Views or sheets is open by default and gives us the preview of the 3D view which is currently open in Revit. Here the export is in current view or sheet only. Let's change it to in session view or sheet set. And as I do this, another drop down menu show in list appears. As you open it, quite a few choices like view in the set, sheets in the set, views in the model, and all views and sheets in model etc. appear. I am going to select sheets in the model for now. You also have an option of making a new set or duplicating a set with these two new set and duplicate buttons. I am going to select check all since I want all the sheets available in the project. Let's now switch to DWF properties tab. Here it is showing me the export object data and the graphic settings. It also has an option of print setup and as I click on it this dialog box opens which allows me to set up the paper size, paper placement, orientation and other options that you normally have when you are printing a sheet. The only difference this time will be that we will be printing a digital one. Now switch to project information tab. This provides us with the various parameters of the project like organization's name, project issue date, client name, and project name etc. 
all these values can be added by just clicking on these boxes adjacent to them. Once done, let's click on this next button and then save it in DWFX format since it is the newer version as I mentioned before. So using these similar methods we can export DWF files from both AutoCAD and Revit. In the next tutorial I shall be showing you how to use this exported file in Autodesk Design Review for markups.